Hello everyone, and welcome to Bury the Hatchet, a Halloween-themed indie visual novel. A friend of mine described this as Dota 2 meets Pizza Tower, and frankly, I think he's lying. But in all seriousness, this is just an indie game that a like helper for the channel just happened to be a part of, and I was like, wow, this art, this game looks nuts. I figured you guys would be excited for this. Download link in the description, and yeah, if you want to see more like one-off sort of style videos like this, let me know. But let's dive in and bury some hatchets. Warning: This game com wait, contains contains the following. What? Uh oh. Um. Uh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, she's dejected. I don't think she's as sassy as I was making her out to be. Can you not hear me with that mask on? Oh, she cheered up. I'll just take it off for you then. I'll reveal your true form. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. No, I hear you just fine. Well, a black and white bear. This feels a little familiar. Eh? You could have at least shown some sort of reaction. Like those twitchy streamers, you know, that, like they always, you know, like, like I'm ready to serve you master. Oh my God. Or something like that. Ma'am, this is a 7-Eleven. Wait, what? This is a 7-Eleven. Why does he have an apron on covered in blood? Oh. What sort of place does this person think a gas station is? Anyway, I really need that drink. I can see it right behind you on that shelf. So, be a pal and get it for me, KK. <coughs> I'm only doing it because I'm legally obligated to and being paid to. Man, it's too early for this. Wait, she's getting beer in like the the morning? What the? Interact with the shelf behind you using Z. Okay. Sure. Oh yeah, it is a beer. The legendary shelf she was referring to. I'm not paying you just to look at it. Actually pick it up for me, okay? Her voice is like too sassy. Like, get down on your knees and pick it up. I don't need to do that. It's it's right there. Go on and grab it, okay? What the fr <laughs> He's like, mm, I don't like this. Okay, wait, I think I need the mouse. <laughs> beer, get! Yeah! Here's your beer, ma'am. Oh my god. Yay! <laughs> this isn't it. What? This isn't the special collaboration beer with Idle Miracle Shine! Ma'am, I just got the one you were pointing at. You just want me to be miserable, don't you? Like the rest of this horrid world I'm a curse to live in. What, was that the was that the pipe drop sound effect? Uh. So get on with it then. Checking you out, uh, of course, ma'am. I mean, get on with checking in the back. Find my actual beer already. It's surely in there, right? I don't. What? Oh my god. Your work in retail sucks. <laughs> you get psycho freaks like this. It's a magical forbidden place. Surely my magical beer is in there as well. Besides, can't show up to a college party without it. <laughs> so I'm not leaving till you get me the beer. I guess that's why she's dressed like this. She's going to a Halloween party. Sure, ma'am. I'll go check. Oh, jeez. Wait, no. Before that, I'll look around. Why does he have a bear trap and, a, and an axe? Like, weird. Also, wow. This, like, you can actually, like, move around and they made a sprite for it. Wow. Like, that's sick. Like, I'm, I don't, this probably looks good. Like, real good. Dude's got some huge shoulders, though. My God. Keep giving her a Valley Girl accent. I don't know why. I just, oh, uh, oh my God. I think we found the source of the blood. Here's that so-called magical back room. Should at least pretend to check around. So she doesn't lose her mind when I come back without it. Bro, what is this back here? <gasps> No, I'm not trying to check this! What? Well, what do you know? Guess it was here all along. No, behind it! What? Funny I didn't notice it before. We got special edition magical girl beer. This guy... Wh what the dump? That's just, a, that's just a dead girl. And there's a smiley face and... Who are you? I already have her stupid beer. Get no, acknowledge the. I mean, if he's a cold blooded killer, he probably wouldn't care. Just another day on the job. You know how it is. And here's 
And there it is, finally, after five gazillion years. Any longer than I would have called for the manager. Oh, spoken like a true Karen. And you would hate that, wouldn't you? It's not as if he cares most of the time, but... Him coming in today would not be ideal. Appreciate the gesture, ma'am. Now that'll round up to... Payment, I know, I know. Don't worry, pleb. And keep the change. Jesus Christ, what a miserable person. She didn't even pay enough. <laughs> oh, Better clean up the mess back there before anyone else comes in. Sure. Well, time to get mop in. A mop and a bucket. Unfortunately, the only running water we've got in the bathroom. I don't feel like lugging that over to clean the place. So you're just gonna... What? Like, use... Like, sanitizing wipes? Further back, there's more storage. I don't need to go back there right now. So we're... we're so I just clean, clean it up like the... Oh, wow. That's horrible. Hello again. Fancy seeing you here. Let's get you all cleaned up, huh? Speaking you here wouldn't be my first choice normally, but you're gonna need to wait till after my shift. For now, that'll do. <laughs> Time for six more hours of the. Huh? Get. <clears throat> this mask is. I'll just. There we go. Got some dust stuck up in there or something. So he took his mask off. What? You came back? You? What are you doing? Uh. Oh. My. Goward. Guess she needs to die. You. You killed Courtney? Courtney McNamara? This sucks. Two of them. Two bodies I need to store in the back room. And you got that scar on your face? I don't think anyone else in the store right now. So if I'm quick about it, it should be fine. <laughs> His voice is not working. He's so nonchalant. <laughs> it's like an evil Pooh Bear. Th then that means you must be. Alrighty, here goes. The absolutely wicked and awesome bear water grizzly killer, aren't you? Uh-oh. I'm like your number one fan! Oh, so it's like that? What? I mean, okay, Hellspawn32 claims he's your biggest fan because he's actually went to the side of the first murder you actually laid claim to, but I'm calling bullcrap on that one. And now I've actually met you, so that's nothing compared to whatever poor hair is social lunacy. <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, uh. Besides, in my opinion, I'm in the camp that believes that trailer park killings weren't on you. Cause like, see, give me a sec. Uh, I guess she's a true crime fan and no, just a real crime fan. I, is there a difference? I, uh, hey, look, what are you, hey, look, what, what, are you, what are you looking at, big guy? Here we go. As we can see from one of the first newspaper clippings of the event, you just carry that everywhere with you. Oh, I guess she has a large backpack. The cuts weren't all crisis crossed and that's your whole thing. Can't you make your debt without your signature prepared, right? N no, th those those were me. I, I, I killed them, I rarely did. Uh, really? Oh darn it, I suck. Anyway, well if he doesn't know he won the bet, I don't know him, right? Okay, never mind. Listen kid, I what are you doing? I am not a kid, I'm 24, no, 21 years young, can legally purchase alcohol in the United States, which is a thing that old people say once they're trying to deny the fact that they're old, so I, I must be old. <laughs> yeah, I'm not touching that. Uh, he killed, a, he, he, he killed, a, uh, you, you're actually gonna kill her. Oh my God. So what's your name, kid? I'm not a kid, but uh, yeah, I'm Pearl. I'm literally the biggest honor to be able to meet you. She's standing a serial killer. While freaking pizza music's playing in the background. I, I know I seem chiller than chill, but I'm really bugging right now. So, you're not gonna sell me out? Could you risk that, Mr. Bear? 
<laughs> Are you for real silly? I mean, sorry, but why the heck did I do that? I'm meeting my idol right now. He... At least I think I am. You got the right scars, but Courtney's body doesn't seem all hatched up. So, in fact, it seems way more knife stabbed. I, I guess I got the wrong guy. How embarrassing. No, it's still me. Okay, yay! FYI, I'm the creator of your GeoCities fan page. What the frick? It's all May, if you're curious. I'm not exactly a coder, so paying someone to do that took a pretty penny. Okay, whatever. Just give me a second to think about all this. <laughs> of course, of course. Okay. Clearly excited. Uh, I guess this is a play on people that... You know, some people think Jason and Freddy Krueger, they're, you know, they're sexy. I, I'm not one of those, but, uh, yeah, you can live. Oh my god, yay! I mean, if you wanted to kill me, that'd definitely be the best way to go out. My only request is that you don't hide my body so that I'm on the news and stuff, but I get to stay alive. Yippee! Uh, I've got some questions to ask you about the girl, though. Oh, Court? You're not planning on keeping her here, right? I mean, good thing that I was the one who wandered in here. But if you're not careful, someone else get a, might get a nice eyeful of her. And I'm, <laughs> you know, not like other girls. <laughs> Unironically, ironically, I, th I think she gets to say that one. I, don't, I think she's one of a kind. Pearls. So they won't have the same reaction as me, you know. I agree, that's why I... Erm, um, what the spruce? You mean we, right? Uh... Please, let me hide the body. Please, 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 No. Oh my god. Getting rejected by a serial murderer, my god. Hopefully she can rebound. Uh, please! Oh no, she's desperate! Kid, I don't have the time for- I'm not a kid, I'm a legal adult who can be murdered and butchered and shown in a video game. Whatever. <laughs> Listen, I understand the woes of modern capitalism. What the dump?! You can't do your shift and hide a body at the same time, right? Two people are better than one. more people involved, the more tongues that might wag. Come on, you think I'd rat you out? I mean, we've been buddies for so long. Really? You won't brag on some forum? You help me hide our body? <laughs> That's what I... Hey, is there anyone actually working here? Oh, it's someone from behind us. Hello! Might as well walk out with all this stuff then. I love stealing. Hmm. <laughs> Please, let at least let me mop up the blood. Okay, fine. Just uh, you bring a you bring an electric guitar with you? Yeah! Yippee! Keep quiet. Okay, rock on, dish. What? The floor will be clean as a whistle when you come back. Better be. Obviously, she needs to die. <laughs> Later rather than sooner. She's useful for now. And I'm on the clock. If only killing paid better. Hello? I need help, please. Yeah, coming. Oh. It's like a little, little kid. Oh, it's two little kids. Hey, give us all your money. We're not afraid to put up a fight. Come on, I'll be up the cash register. This all little kids talk, right? What will you do if I don't? Uh, uh, I, uh, we will beat you up. Okay, go ahead. My life's as miserable as it can be. You're too intimidating and you got a mask. It's no fair. Get his energy drink and even out the odds. Can't be bothered arguing with stupid children. Just a second. Uh-oh. You're about to be timed by a... The customer's patience. I guess these are mechanics. You need to find what the customer wants. And there are six different places that item could be. Behind the counter, sure, but under the counter as well. Or in the shelves. Okay. You know, I don't really go to gas stations often. 
because I got enough gas to go around. But if you're stuck, you can look a little list, maybe your key items. If your energy get called, he's gonna come down and discover the body. Oh, so yeah, it's like a straight up game. This is unideal, so make sure to serve everyone quickly. Ready? Then go! Okay, 30 seconds. Uh, no energy drink here. That's only beer. Oh crap, that's not. No, you gotta, you gotta physically exit the button for. Okay. Oh my god, I have 20 seconds left. Are you kidding me? Tabloids, tabloids. This looks like energy drink. Uh, acid trip. That sounds like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15 seconds. All right, so there's milk there. And there's some other third item. I don't remember. All right, we gotta be, you know, professional. Gotta get behind the counter. Okay, so this kind of, this kind of, I kind of like this. Here you go. Wanna try beating me up now, now that you have energy? The energy of the gods? You're too scary, brother! Okay, then. Whatever. I'm manning the store. A bunch of people are gonna end up coming up for help, as per usual. If I need to remember what kinds of locations the store has. Got that note I wrote for myself earlier. On that note... Psst. Gwiz! Good. Shh. I'm a legal adult. Listen, I need some sort of way to talk to you while you're up front. Do you have a walkie-talkie or something? Just slide it right under the door. Want to be a little big for under the door exchanges? Shh. If I remember seeing it placed conveniently under that orange cone you got on the counter. What? How did you see that? She's, she just has x-ray vision? All right. Here's your item. Freaking. Oh, God. We have a str oh, my God. The soundtrack is really good. Here you go, kid. Thanks so much. I'll treasure this forever and ever and tuck it in the bed at night. That you, you, kind of on Grizz's side. She's a little clingy. She's going to hunt this. If we don't hunt her, she's going to hunt us. Oh. It's a... Uh... Hey. Uh... You got anything special in the back rooms? Kind of. You get my drift. Is he onto something? She didn't text her true crime forums friends, did she? I'm sure it's like super easy for you to sneak in grass like a job like this, right? I'll pay a lot. None of that here, sir. Sorry. Man, I accidentally gave the rest of mine to a trick or treater. Ooh, this sucks. <laughs> Can I get some gummies? I'll just convince myself they're edible. <laughs> the only gummies that we saw here are some sour brain worms, sir. Yeah, I'll take those instead. Can you, uh, go get them? Just want to hang out here, ma'am. What? I'm, I'm not a... What? Wait, is Grizz a... I, I... Pretty strong stuff. I just a bit made you act like this. You bet, ma'am. Go get the gummies. All right, away I go. Oh, now I kind of see it. Grizz has like long hair. Okay, so hold on. Let's just try and, you know, this is where I think gummies would be at. We got, uh, yeah, super sour. Oh no, that, yeah, brain worms. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And there's also a, like a bounce. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this. Can I just add him off here? There you go, 279, please. Hope this makes up for things. I bet it will. Happy Halloween, Master Madam. He's nice. Eh, not that annoying. Starting to slow down. Should be able to check in on Pearl after this group clears. Uh, oh. Oh. Hi there. Hey, I'll be taking three of these, please. Okay, that's 1234, sir. Got it. <laughs> God, God. <laughs> I know what's going on with you, though. What you must be thinking right now. Uh, what? Buying three boxes of chocolate. <laughs> Man, must be on my cheat day or something. <laughs> Relatable. But no, no. It's much worse than that. You see, my girl's mad at me. Oh, I see. That's too bad. Just look how cute she is. <sighs> oh, God. I don't know what I did to tick her off. Maybe she hasn't picked up any of my calls this morning. 
we always call together during breakfast. We never skip swinging on the flippity flop. No, we never skip swinging on, on, on the flip. What the frick does that mean? And on Halloween of all days. <laughs> what about our outfit coordination? We decided that together in the morning itself. I must have done something absolutely unforgivable to tick her off. <laughs> Whatever the crime, I hope that this will begin to show some of my remorse to Courtney. Yo, Grizz sucks! This, Yo, this guy, this poor, this poor guy. Young love cut down in the prime of his life. I just, well, I'll see you during class, right? If I cry in front of her, hopefully she'll take me back. I'm so sensitive and really damaged. Anyway, happy Halloween, strange lady! <laughs> Wait, what? That stain under the door there. Is that a... It's, it's that time of the month. <laughs> oh. Menstrual bleeding. God. My bad. <laughs> Courtney, you used to bleed all the time. That sounds effed up, but you know. Uh, anyway, I need to talk to Pearl. Let's go check it out. Pearl, what is wrong with you? Hey, I got a question for you. Oh my gosh, of course. Anything I'd be serviced to. This girl. You said her name was Courtney, right? Mm, yuppers. Was she dating anybody, you know? Not yet. Or I guess never now, but she and Brandon were goo goo for each other. How do you know this? You're 21. She's in high school. I guess she'd be a college uh, cheerleader. I think about that. Vomit inducing, if you ask me. Freaking metrosexuals. Uh, what? What does that even mean? I'm stupidly excited to see your face when she finds out, though. <laughs> Why do you ask? I'm fairly certain I just saw him now. Oh my god, really? He's got really bad roots. Some of the most pathetic eyes I've seen in my life. Big pink jacket. Yeah, that tacky thing, as always. More concerningly, he saw blood leaking out from under the door. Because you didn't clean up, Earl! I played it off. Or bringing up menstrual bleeding. But once he realizes she's actually missing, yeah, it's actually over. Wow. Don't sweat it. He's far too numbskulled to remember. Anyway, we've bonded now. Gotten to know each other. <laughs> so, I've helped you hide a body and all. And now you owe me, so. Oh, you, you begged me to help. That's not how that works. You gotta come to our shows, okay? What? Please, you owe me. I gotta deal with... Oh. <laughs> please, 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 please. Mm. To be completely honest... Oh. Wait. There's dialogue options. Is there, like, different endings? To be completely honest, hear about it before you kill her. When you focus on hiding the body. I'm just... Listen. Call me a simp all you want. Pearl's too effing cute to kill. Like, I'm sorry. Like... She plays guitar, has white hair, it's effing, I, uh, we gotta kill her. She's gotta die. Okay, you can tell me about your band while I work. Hand me that saw, would you? <laughs> this voice is so creepy. <laughs> Johnny, I didn't know you had this in you. I didn't either. Oh, not your hatchet? Still? I mean, of course. Okay, so so basically there's four of us, Amy, Daisy on keys, Violet on bass, and of course, me on guitar and lead vocals. I'm so multi-talented. After all, if the band's called Death of Venus, it's destined that the person named Pearl will lead it, right? Because, you know, like the, the birth of Venus and the pearls and the, and the sense that Venus shit came out of the oyster and stuff, you know? Oh, didn't you inherit the band and its name from- wait. Grizz is actually talking about- Didn't you inherit the band and its name from someone else? What? No, I named it and I founded it. Uh-huh, okay. Anyway. Anyway, we got big plans coming up. Amy's brother works at... Dickin? No, that's Duncan! And he's trying to pull some strings so we can perform there sometime. At a Duncan? 
We've been preparing for so long. So actually getting to perform in front of people, I'm so buzzed. I can hardly stand it. Glad for you. Hey, can you pass me that rag? Oh, of course. Let me guess. Does this smell like chloroform? <laughs> hey, will I have you here? Can I run some lyrics by you? Not exactly a lyricist. I'm a murderer, in case you forgot. The words themselves aren't the point. It's all about the emotions. That's actually true. That's how you write songs. Let me know if it speaks to you at all. <clears throat> oh, I'm not going to actually say. Walk the line. Keep in step. Do it all. No missteps. She's in a rock band, but she can't help herself. No, Pearl. Don't talk that country. What do you mean? This is my singing voice. Still you look and you frown, no matter what in mind, I'm always down. <laughs> so. Is that all? For now, it's obviously a work in progress. But, uh, what do you think? Mm, pass me the bucket first. I need to hurl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can just hear her, like, batting her eyelashes. Well, you rhyme step with misstep, and that's pretty stupid. Yeah, because they rhyme. People always say my um, my lyrics are mad dumb, yo. Well, besides, what, a what about the emotions? My emotions. I mean, could, uh, could be anyone's emotions. Listen, Pearl, there's no point in being so anxious over my opinion. I'm just a famous psycho killer. Who cares what I think, you know? You're writing lyrics about feeling judged. Why don't you want to why would you want others to judge them? Dang. I feel that. You know, you might be you might be a psycho murderer, but dang. So the feelings that I hate being judged gets across? Yeah. Guess it's pretty standard young person angst then. <laughs> I'm so glad I could talk to you about it. There. That's all their limbs hacked up. Oh, that's terrible. Man, man, oh my man, 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 oh man. Getting to see the bear water grizzly killer work in person is such a dream. Wait until RunchFan54 finds out. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I mean, not that I would ever tell, of course. <laughs> Having a little secret between the two of us is far more special. What's far more special is not getting caught. Well, so I need to stay at the gas station for the rest of my shift. It's gonna last all the way into the evening. Afterwards, we're gonna use your- Wait, I get to be a part of your master plan? Yeah, I mean, you're already part of it, so. <laughs> Euphoric glee. I like that. I feel like books should do that too. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> no words to describe the emoji. Well, we're using your case to transport the body. It's Halloween, so props like that can pass without suspicion. It's nice you made it work with your costume. Uh, costume? This is how I always dress. Oh, she's so dreamy. And my case already has a baby in it, okay? You have a baby? My guitar, doy. Well, can't, can't you just, oh, frick. Dang it. It's okay. I'll work on finding some new way to transport the body while you serve your customers, okay? Leave it to old Pearl. <sighs> Whatever. I'll be back. Please do. Dude, whose side am I on? Poor Courtney, bro. So I just love the dithering of this. This is like, I don't know. The aesthetic's really nice. I can take a second to catch my breath if I need to. Customers shouldn't bother me until I start messing around with the counter, at the very least. Okay, so before that, behind the counter, under the counter, okay, so I was just reviewing the locations. It just, it just, you know, it logically makes sense with what a real gas station's like. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh, a monster kitty protect me. Ah. Kitty, do something. Oh no, I don't have enough badges. I disobeyed. I'm not a monster. This is a mask. I'd never hurt anybody. Uh, Guess you should be scared of me, though. I did cut up that college guy at cheerleader. Oh, okay, in that case. Wow, you calm down quick. You are sounds friendly. <laughs> Buzz it. 
Can you get me some milk for me and my kitty? It's the last ingredient we need for a special Halloween potion. I'm gonna turn my kitty into a great warrior. Didn't seem to protect your mom just now. I know, he's helpless. That's why we need the potion. <laughs> so get some milk, will you? Go and get it. Sure thing. Here we go. Zooming away. If I were milk, I'd be over here. And I was right. Got it. I'm so good at video games. Look at me. Here you go, little lady. I'll be 158. What kind of fictional universe is this? Yay, thank you. I'm gonna make my potion now. Fare thee well. Yeah, whatever. Ah, huh, whoa! Satsuro Gojo! What? That's literally him! Can... Can I use your bathroom, please? Thank you! Repeat that, could you? I need to pee! I urgently need to pee! Please let me pee! Let me get that key for you, buddy. Oh my god, thank you! Hurry! Don't get too excited. I don't want to clean up this place. Have I seen this guy's face before? Nah. Okay, so uh, bathroom key, please, please. Oh my god. Okay, so under, under here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw the keys before. I, I know I'm making the, the the joke and all, but like, no, really. Where did Grizzly see this person? Hey, before you go, are you? Thank you, thank you. Happy Halloween. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, he's gone. All right then. Come on, quiz me. What do you? Oh. Howdy there, sir. There's no way she called the cops, right? Oh, don't freak out. Come on. Hello, officer. What can I get you? He's awfully quiet. Oh, buddy. Happy Halloween. Yippee yay. I love Halloween. I'm really getting into the spirit this year. <laughs> I'm dressing up as something really spooky. Oh. A cop. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Anything you need? Costumer? This could all be a play. I really want to get into this costume. Wanna, wanna get me a serial killer related tabloid pronto? I'll point it at people at it and discuss their irredeemability. Won't, won't, that, won't that really sell my costume? <laughs> I'll get that tabloid for you. Freaking Jesus Christ. Scared me half to death. Yeah, I was like really worried. Wait, what? What's happening? This, this is the top boy section. No, I was like really worried that uh, yeah, well, just like screw this up. But no, so far, it all seems pretty easy. But it's a fall mechanic. Like how many? I don't know how many games have you played where you're the you know the shop owner. Usually in games you go to shops, you know. The Grizzly Killer, huh? I put him in jail. Happy Halloween. <laughs> yeah, about that. Oh, him again? Dude. I would like to return this. These open boxes of chocolate? I don't think we can do that, sir. But I couldn't even give them to my girl. She wasn't even at school today. I asked all her friends, but no one had seen her. <laughs> Ma'am? My girl is so mad at me, she doesn't even want to be around me. And she's risking flunking out of school. I can repair her broken heart if I'm so miserable. There, 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 you're, you're, uh, oh God, he's really annoying. Sorry to hear all about that, sir. <laughs> Not like someone like you would ever understand what I'm going through. <laughs> My whole world! Huh! Hey, Grizz! I blinged out this old box you have back there and, uh, oh, brand dumb. Pearl, stupid, uh, stupid Pearl. I hate you. I see that your band's really trying to, truly selling well. This is where you ended up. Oh, he's a D-bag. No. I was rooting for you. I have the same jacket. No. You deserve this brat. No, he didn't deserve it. But come on. You got the whole Tom Tom Club over here. <laughs> what does Tom Tom mean? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> At least I have a club. Seems like even Lamini's ditched you in your rat's nest of a haircut. What's wrong with this haircut? I think it, I don't know. It looks fine to me. 
you know, it's just, it's just kind of to the side, you know. Hey, whatever's going on between Cordy and I is none of your business, Lamestein. Shouldn't you be more worried about getting all that gross, uh, whatever that is off your boots? Oh, hey, Brandom. Do you want to know what's on me right now? No. Because I pinky promise that you'll hate the answer. <laughs> Let's fr- What was that? Uh, it's my lunch break, so you can go now. <laughs> Good day, sir. Oh, geez, okay. I'll get out of your hair. <laughs> my hair's fine, right? Is that what Courtney broke up with? Did you see the look on his face? Pathetic. Anyway, I... What the heck is wrong with you? Well, I probably had too much sugar today, but, um... Tell him that he, he killed his girlfriend right in front of his face? Are you stupid? Well, technically... Your body... The body's right there. Right there! Just a few steps away. It's the middle of the day. He makes a fuss of things. It's over. We're caught and shipped off. I don't know what stupid little vendetta you guys have with each other, but you need to stop it. Get yourself together and actually do what I say. Okay. Because that's what you want to, right? Just for me to shut up and obey you. To do what you want. Oh, Christ. Don't make this weird. Freaking figures that you're all the same. Whatever. She cooperated. Okay. Go after her. Give her some space. Hmm. We'll be nice. Then kill her later. I guess. I, uh, I can't. I, I can't. I don't want her to die. <laughs> but I already picked the option. So I guess I do. She'll probably tie herself out and get over it. Wait for the sugar high to, you know, just get out of her system. That'll do it. Uh. Oh, hey, you're back. Got the bear trap set up. What? Well, if someone ends up coming into the back, that'll be super duper bad, right? I mean, of course. So, bear traps. You didn't have to steal them from the manager's. You didn't steal them from the manager's staff, did you? As long as the manager's staff wasn't that box of them lying around in the back, yeah. Come on, if we actually end up using them, we can just reset them and clean them up. And no one will be any of the wiser. Fair enough, I guess. Speaking of which, I should actually work on packing the body into my wonderfully bedazzled box. Rock on! Glad she doesn't, she's going to step on the bear trap, won't she? Oh my god. Glad she's gotten herself for the back in a good mood. I'll make it easier to rip her head off. The next wave of customers is probably going to hit any second now. So react to the daily grind. If I want, I can look around for a bit before attending the customer. Maybe I should... Maybe I shouldn't. Uh, it teaches them virtues of patience. I think that's my hint. Wait, am I going to step on the bear trap? No? What is this in here? Don't worry about me. You know I've got this handled. No, really, what, what is this? Uh, don't worry about I guess she was like bedazzling her, you know, case or something. Okay. I feel like we're supposed to do something with this time. Wait, where did they go? No, 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 no. If they're still in the, if they're still in the store, that'll be bad news bears. You know, uh, par pardon the pun. Oh, there you are. Jesus, scare me half to death. Well, hey, how you doing? I'm fine. Man, my car broke down. I'm totally sick of cars, man. My girlfriend, she's amazing. Don't get me wrong, sonny. Or, or Missy, I get, get, get me in the whole prairie dog girl lifestyle. She even bakes bread for me and stuff. Oh, she's the perfect chick. She got you in the cowboy outfit for Halloween, I bet. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm an investment banker, though. She wants me to be more rough, though. You know how it is. <laughs> and now my goddamn tire's broken down. Help a guy and fish some tire repair thingy, will you? Where is that? I'll give you a bonus and everything. Tire repair thingy? Oh, that'd be near the gas. Oh, thank God. Wait, headlight fluid? Oh, tire fix. Dude, you're not gonna believe it. We actually had it. 
921, please. Keep the change. Man, maybe I'll drive for real far away, deep into the country, with this thing and my lady. Probably buy two of them. This might break. Ah, who am I kidding? I love money too much. Yeah! Well, my girl's waiting. See ya. Hmm. Okay, then. Oh, frick, another one. Oh. Uh. Hello, benevolent service worker. How can I help you? Absolutely brilliant to see the masses participating in Hall Hollow's Eve. Yeah, sure, I guess. How can I help you? Master Maiden, may you assist me with something deeply private? Uh, the truth is, I... I... Can you get me a tabloid discussing the latest news of society's elite? Are those influ in influence and define our cultural norms? Celebrity tabloid? You want- you read that crap? Yeah, we got plenty. Now there are essentials of low culture, but the gorgeous body is on display and most riveting melodies captivate- Oh, so he's a pervert. I am the masses. We're not so different, you and I. I'm not so sure of that. Let me get that for you, buddy. What a disgusting man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Isn't this that piss guy from earlier? Wait, what? The the guy in the the what? Here you go. Enjoyed your degenerate pornography. <laughs> it's not that. Ah, your words are poison quilled upon the bottom of my flesh, madam. Nine eighty four, please. Ah, and my wallet too. Goodbye. Ah. Freaking, what do you want from me? We live in a capitalist society. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hey. What can I get you? Well, yes, yeah, say happy Halloween. We hate Halloween. We're protesting against it. What? Your costumes say otherwise, kids. Well, we didn't hate Halloween a few hours ago. But we ate way too much candy, and then we threw up. Can you believe that? All three of us threw up. Uh... What if it was that guy's? Huh? Oh, right. The grass. That's unfortunate. That's evil. Oh my god. So now we hate Halloween. But we need you to help stop it? it gives us water now. What? How will that in a century long tradition? We're replacing hollow, whatever that is, with something even more crucial to the human essence. That being water? Water ween? <laughs> it sounds like we. Humans need water, so we're starting water ween. Water now! Okay, frick, uh, what crap, where's the water? Uh, it's usually over here, right? Uh, yeah, easy. I say easy, but, uh, I feel like we're gonna use every item in the store. Waterween will win supreme! We need water to live, Waterween! Well, I need a dollar thirteen, so. Pennies for the beginning of the revolution! <laughs> <laughs> That's like genuine kid dialogue, That's so funny. Oh man, this is a this is a busy. Oh, hi there. I'm sweet. I'm so sick of doing this everywhere. What buying crap at the gas station? You can't even be cordial about it. Give me info on missing people, okay? What? Did you make it disappear? Because you're a magician. What is happening? I want to try and enjoy Halloween despite all the stuff going on in my life, okay? Please go fetch the tabloid for me. I deserve to live a normal life. What? Who, who are you? Are you a private investigator? Oh, probably a private investigator. Well, anyways, here's the latest issue of Shonen Jump for you. Abracadabra. You come back? Maybe. Is that a magazine? Oh, frick. Oh, no. For some reason, you gotta actually hand it to her. Oh, crap. Oh, no, don't. I overshot. Six seconds left. Wait. It's not the right magazine. No, I have to. Uh oh. You're rude. And you're totally incompetent. I can't tolerate this behavior anymore. Where is your manager? Just actually game over. Oh my gosh, she's so cute with the game over thing, though. No. <laughs> well. Yeah, I didn't save and I had to play the entire game over again. 
please go fetch me that tabloid for me. I deserve to live a normal life. It doesn't necessarily say which tabloid. It's kind of vague. That magazine. That one. Why don't you get it? What the? I mean, I <laughs> guess then you don't have a game. We did this last time, right? Wait, no, tabloid. Missing persons. Oh, that's dirty. That's messed up. It's context clues, Jimmy. As always, no info to find. The rabbit to my magician. I'll pull you out of my hat some soon enough. What the? Is she onto us? Is she a cop? Maybe. It's raining, huh? Bummer for any trick or treaters, I guess. Guess it's time to check in the back. What'd you do? What'd you break? Uh, What's wrong? Did something happen? I freaking dropped Courtney. Uh, I mean, it seems like she's still. Uh, but so many of the jewels fell everywhere. All the little bedazzlements I painstakingly put on them, they fell off. I'm so. Uh, Let her handle it. No, we'll help. Mm, role playing though is a psycho killer. But still, I want her out of my hair as soon as I can. So I'll help her out, I guess. Don't worry. I don't patronize me. You, you are, and emotionally distraught and a bit irrational about it. Okay. This is so. Uh, of course, people only look at me when I mess up. You can't stand out in marching band. Just blare the wrong note. Duh. Uh, hey, what are you? And that aside, I mean, wacky doesn't even begin to cover it, right? It's pretty weird for someone to want to help a serial killer, right? Pretty out of the ordinary to be phased at all by serial killer chopping up a classmate's body, bad blood or not, right? Where is this going? It's so... I'm so... Uh, not less mad, but got so upset she tied herself out. I thought... <laughs> I really thought for a while... That if I actually tried to follow what other people said, I'd get the right kinds of eyes on me. It's really hard to think of yourself, after all. When you make your own decisions, if things go badly, the fault lies on you. So why don't things turn out well? Why was everyone still getting mad at me? Wasn't I doing what they asked? Why couldn't they just look at me? What? Not that it matters anymore. Hey, I have another question for you. Uh, yeah, sh shoot. Where's your hatchet? You always killed with a hatchet. Even when, when your other little trademarks came and went, there was always a hatchet. I thought it was kind of odd you hadn't been using it up till now, but I figured. Courtney took you by surprise, so killing her with a knife was just convenient. It's quicker to saw through bones than actual saw. We're on a time crunch. I feel like it's a little too absent. I don't know. What is going on here? You don't have to answer me. Heck, I'm just some van girl that you met earlier this morning. But if I'm right on my on your reasoning as to why you're not using the hatchet. What is going on here, Pearl? Hey, for real now. We're never going to succeed in hiding this body, are we? I don't think you ever thought you were going to, even on your own. For this, all your killings were far, far from the city. That's probably how you managed to get away with it all, right? Perfectly controlled. So a situation like this is probably not ideal. You probably thought you could hide in the city, huh? So many people. And no one's looking for a country bumpkin killer in concrete. Pretty lucky that anyone's looking at all. What? Where's this going? Hey, P Pearl. I use the hatchet because it's what I'm most comfortable with, that's all. There's nothing special about it. It's just a tool. But well, like you said, it became a signature. It became recognized. Isn't that part of the point to a lot of serial killers, though, to have one so people know who you are? You're a symbol for all freaks. There's, like, drum on forums about, about you guys getting way too much attention, really. No, I hate that stuff. I prefer if no one found out my bodies. Oh. Look. All due respect, I never wanted to involve anyone else. Especially not someone like you. They start making out. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> someone like me? What does that mean? What does that mean? 
What's that? Did you say it? What's that mean? Someone's so desperate to be found. I guess that's a little ironic then. We're like polar opposites. Uh, we're in the middle of something. Hey, don't shout. What the? Just give me a sec. Okie dokie. All right, this time I will remember to save. How can I? Ah, oh, frick, it's you. Hi again. Sorry to bother you, I just... I wanted to talk to Pearl if that was possible. She's not here, bozo. Oh, is that the case? <laughs> Listen, I'm kind of stressed, you know? I call Courtney's parents because we're chill and all that, but they said she left home early to get some last minute costume supplies or something never came back. Oh my god, he's putting two in together. No, 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 our cover's blown, our cover's blown. They assumed she decided to go straight to school after buying stuff, but uh, she didn't. No one's seen her at all today. No matter how much I ask. The person that's so much as joked about seeing her is Pearl. So even though it's probably a stretch, I gotta ask, you know? If you know where she went or whatever, that'd be... Great. <laughs> Just being pointed in the right direction, please. Yeah, beats me. Uh, really? Yeah, I don't know, sorry. Okay, thank you anyway. Oh, <laughs> coming in that walkie-talkie I asked you for earlier. It's me, Pearl, the one and only. Can I have some help back here again, please? Oh my god. <laughs> what was that the last one about, Jesus? You freaking liar, huh? You- Hey, wait a sec- Whoa! whoa! Let me through! Let's just all calm down, okay? I just want to talk to Pearl. It's no big deal, okay? Crap. I need to find something to deal with him now. Time to kill again! <laughs> this is terrible. I don't know. I feel for the guy. I- Pearl, are you- I see. Oh my god. Oh! That is horrible. Oh my god. Hey! Hi! Courtney! She's... <laughs> yeah, deader than a doornail. I'm super sorry or something that this is how you found out, but like, hey! Plenty of fish in the sea, right? Honestly, wouldn't do a lot. It's too much. Oh. I'm gonna kill you! I'm serious, for I'm really gonna kill you! I knew you were a sick freak, but... Hey, you... Uh, you just tried to kill me, didn't you? Freaking jocks. This archetype's so annoying. Can't make this easy for me, can ya? You... You wench! You think you... Are you gonna stop me? I'm going out there and getting the effing police? I'm the first core pick quarterback. I'll have you know. You and... Uh, what do you... Courtney... Fr frick! Oh, shut up. Oh, oh my god. I gotta get out of here. I can't let him go. That's like super bad. I know that, Pearl. Oh my god. The one eyeball. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! These kids. Oh frick. Okay, thank god they make they force you to save. No, oh, don't do this. Wait, can I like can I like sprint? Hold on. We always dash on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's a good thing I found that. You're back here, you. Wait, how do I like stab? Do I just have to like touch him? Oh, there we go. He's got a crown back there. Dang it. He got away. Oh, frick. Crap! You stabbed him? Yay! Not well enough. I, I I seriously just booted back into the game and just walked forward. I, I, I anyway. Not well enough. Seriously, you jock types. You freaking chucklehead breeches of crap. Guess so. He's slinking off now. Don't worry. He's not getting far at this point. Come on. Oh. <laughs> he just, dude. This sucks. <laughs> Door! Y'all have room for this guy! Come on! This Are we the baddies? I'm just just throwing just throwing out ideas there. No, no, no! Take it, take it, take it! This needs to open. It needs to 
Listen, kid. Piss off, lady! It's really nothing personal. In fact, I'd prefer not to do this. You and I both know you want to be able to keep your mouth shut. So this is how it's going to have to be. Yeah, Grizz is going to kill you, Dad. <laughs> Pearl, you're up next, just so you know. Like, I don't think it's going to happen. Sorry, zip, Zippy Mouthy. <laughs> uh, you two. You gotta be bugging. How can you act so pretentious? You freaking killed my girl, and for what? Uh, for the walls? Duh. All that people like you guys are good at is ruining lives. <laughs> what the heck did she do wrong? Like, for real? Was it the wrong place, wrong time? She say something to tick you off? Seriously, why'd she have to die? Ah, uh, frick. Uh -huh. What you looking at? That thing, a hatchet? That's... Ah. <gasps> uh. <laughs> you don't like me grabbing... Uh, grabbing hold of this, huh? <laughs> you too. You're weak, huh? <laughs> and I'm strong enough? <sighs> if it's to avenge Courtney, I can do it. God, you want to shut up, will you? I just need to help you with that, I guess. Wait, Pearl, what are you doing? Take this! No. I, I, I gotta say, that was exceptionally stupid. Stupid Pearl? Wait, she died? Let go of me! <clears throat> You seriously bit me? You're gross, lady, but I... Freaking gotcha, freak. You absolute brickhead. Well, Grizz, was it? I'll do it. I'll kill her. I'll do it. Be my guess. I was gonna have to do that anyway. I don't, I don't think you get the whole serial killer thing. You know, I will. Had we done it before this... Now this freak show's gone and uh, now the Courtney's my girl. Get over her. She's been dead for hours now, you loser. I am not shut up. You What? You freaking monster. You gonna let me out of here? Alive? You're gonna open the door, let me leave the back, or she gets it. Oh wait. Rude of me to assume you actually care about her, right? She's a freak after all, even by your standards. Regardless, if you care at all about having blood on your hands anymore, you'll... Whatever. What's it gonna be? There's quite a few branching paths here. But if we're, if we're going by our character... You know, their motivations. She's just going to kill both. Like, that's, that's her goal, right? Don't give him the keys. Kill them both. Can't let you leave here no matter what. So no keys? Break skateboard. You're fine with stupid Pearl dying then? I mean, she is a babe, but like, I don't care. Whatever, go ahead and do it. <laughs> you think I won't? Uh, I will. I really will. Is that so? Then do it. T well. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm role-playing, I swear! Uh, uh, <laughs> See, I did it! I actually... Uh, oh! Well, that's how it goes. You got a third party, kid. Dang it! One was hard enough, but three of them? Oh, jeez. Guess things always need to work out this way. Better get started, then. Let me guess, Grizz is gonna get caught now? Now there's three bodies? First time was an accident. Second and third were two. Fourth, the fifth, the sixth, not so much. At some point I began I began to wonder if my capacity for it all was endless. Held no ill will against these people. I did not kill them because I enjoyed it. I did not even kill them for any sort of reward. People kept dying by my hatchet because it was convenient. They practically fall onto it. Wait, really? How hyperbolic is that? I think they figured they just like That'd be a bummer. In the end, it wasn't even any sort of morality that caused me to stop. Killing. 
You're realistic about it, just doesn't pay well. Ah, Miss Blank, please do come in. We're very excited to interview you. Your application was very strong, honestly, somewhat unrealistically so. <laughs> but we need all the help we can get around this season. And you seem wonderful. That being said, I must ask, are you feeling sick? If you're under the weather, we can reschedule for later. Why do you ask? You're wearing that medical mask after all? Oh. Well, it isn't any of my business. They only end up asking around here a week into the investigation because someone remembers Brandon mentioned returning chocolates he got. I mentioned Courtney in passing during questions. The only sign anyone noticed that Pearl is missing is a crappy handmade poster for Bammy. Oh, that's so sad. Now your parents are looking for it. Oh, this sucks. Bad end capacity. What? That's a bad end? All right, let's try something new. All right, so I, I loaded my save again. Like, come on. We can't let Pearls die. She's so hot. And also, uh, you know, she's, you know, we, we, we want to do it, right? Sure, all right. Here you go. Here's the keys. Don't try to, huh? You're really just giving them to me? You're not letting go of a girl otherwise. Like, come on. Just don't. No, I'm not. There, you have it. By your feet. I can breathe again. <laughs> Yay! Holy crap. I'll seriously get to live? When the cops hear about this, they're gonna get you? <laughs> Man! Here we... You know, I thought it would be common sense to not to turn your back on a serial killer. Guess not. We got him anyways? You little... <laughs> Stop, please, I... <coughs> there we go. Oh my god, you did it, you did it. You... Be careful. Uh, hey, are you okay? What happened? Hey! Whoa, that hurts. Oh, the bear trap. Uh, I'm okay. I'm gonna get you out of there, okay? I can... No, oh, it's fine. Wasn't looking where I was stepping. <laughs> Guess I should have paid more attention to you, huh? Well... Okay. <sighs> Alright, you let... Should I just saw your foot off? I, I can do it. Uh, if... I just closed my eye. Shut up and listen to me, all right? No one knew you were here. You didn't tell anyone. No, but... I don't think anyone saw you during my shift, okay? <sighs> Take the keys, open the back door, and toss them under once you go. And close it after you, and... And leave you to die? I'm not gonna die. I'm just stuck. But nothing. You can hide yourself easy. No one's gonna try and find what they're not looking for. Is Grizz sacrificing themselves? I've been doing this solo for years. It'd be weird to start now. But what about, what about when they find you? I don't deal with being found, I guess. Now go! Go! Get out of here! Back then, on that day, I couldn't make myself open my umbrella. Potential backstory? What? What's going on? Just kept coming down and down and down. Let the rain wash everything away. In that sense, I was probably being selfish. There wasn't anyone else to see me. Regardless, I couldn't use that umbrella to hide from the night sky. I needed it all gone. I need that blood just hidden, but destroyed. Something. Something is. It's better to be hated than forgotten? Oh my god. I don't really agree with that, but it doesn't look like I have a choice in that anymore. Bad luck. Bad and hidden. No! So do we just gotta keep sucking up to pearls? I mean, we haven't tried that yet. Okay, we're going for all the endings. And now we go after her? Sorry, babe. I just got a little upset. Don't want her to freak out and cause more problems. Taking the time to at least try to have a conversation with her is probably the best. Urgh. Okay, so no bear traps this time. Oh, hi, Erm. Look, look, I, I, like I said, the box completely blinged out and bedazzled. Guess uh, you disguised it pretty well. <laughs> Trying to get a combo. Right? Yay! 
um. Hey, sorry if I stood on some toes earlier. I just... You understand why telling people you're hiding Courtney's body now is bad, right? Duh. Hey, Chris, question for you. Yeah? Do you actually think we can hide Courtney's body? Because, like, maybe I'm wrong. You're actually successfully hidden a body in the past. But given how every body of yours they find seems to be shoddier and shoddier attempt at hiding, I, I don't think that's the case, right? All this extra work that you're putting in dismembering her and stuff feels, like, kind of desperate almost. Are you calling desperate? You're the one who's attached to the hip. Or... I think the truth is, you're pretty bad at hiding bodies. Well, maybe. You couldn't hide that if it was you, I'm pretty sure. You were pretty good at managing to detach yourself from the problem at hand. But the problem at hand stays. And so you're still here, too. That's why your hatchet's nowhere to be found, right? For she whoa, 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 whoa. No one's going to find Courtney's body, all right? So don't worry about it, baby. <laughs> Just turns into a slime ball. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Yippee. <laughs> You know what you're doing far more than I do, so I'll trust you. In that case, protection is key, right? Which is why I've got these. Uh, bear traps? Yep. From your case? Nah, I'm just keeping them here for a second for convenience. I find them lying around the back. They're not yours? No, the manager's really into hunting. I see. Anyway, I think it would be wrong of you not to use them. Got to help him make sure... Okay, yeah, yeah. As long as you're confident you can tidy up all of this. All right. So what... How is this going to end now? Because before, I guess, yeah, like... The, yeah, just... Because before, yeah, we did not cooperate, and that's kind of what bit us in the butt. So now I think we might be on potentially a good ending. Having all these traps set up for seemingly no reason is not going to do us any favors after the fact. Okie dokie! Anyway, so like, there's this thing that's been really stressing me out. So uh, can I vent to you about it? Right back at it like nothing happened. Good for her, I guess. Sure, tell me about how I set up the bear traps. Sure thing, boss. So like there are four members of my band, right? Including me. I forgot I already mentioned that already. Uh-huh. The problem is Amy is like honestly mediocre at drums. That, and she doesn't show up half the time. Uh-huh, pass me another trap. Yep. And I heard from someone that... When you're working in a creative field, you need to be like two or three things, right? A pleasant to work with, always on time, and absolutely amazing at what you do. And like, I love her to death. But the only thing Amy's good at is freaking amazing strawberry Romanoff? What the? Like, seriously, I'd kill for it. Uh-huh, pass me another trap while you're talking. Yep, okay. So basically, it's only a matter of time before I break the news to her, but I don't have anyone else to do it instead. And we can't be without a drummer that's kind of lame so i was thinking after all of this since you are you have the arms for it what if you wanted to do it uh pass me another uh oh my god really you're doing it i figured that i need to convince you but this is so awesome it's like gonna no sorry i misspoke i'm not joining your band thought you said something else you know i can't be doing that but you already said yes <laughs> Now I'm saying no. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> what the heck? She said no taxi backsies first. Ugh. This girl. God dang. What a woman. <laughs> this time like grizzly just. Hello? Can I like buy this or something? Even though you totally just broke my heart, no worries. You go and help um. I'll set up in more traps in the meantime. Right, I guess. Sure. So now we have the option to help her with the dead body or let her handle it. What did I pick last time? Well, no, we're trying to suck up, so don't worry, Barry. I'll help you out. Don't patronize me. You are emotionally distraught and a bit irrational. Oh, for, I think I picked this one already before. Since we're sucking up to Pearl, give him the keys so we can stab him in the back, literally. All right, here are the keys. No goose, no gas. All right. Wait, there's a new dialogue. God, when was the last time you showered? Gross. The keys. They're really... Oh, man. <laughs> you two are so freaking dead. When I get out of here and call the cops on you, they'll... Uh, okay. <laughs> Don't ignore the damsel in distress. 
finally. You... You shoved me into the bear trap?! Good, good work, Pearl. I'm impressed. I guess all my motivational speeches helped you out. OMG, is that for Ray's? For me, it's my lucky day. What? Hey, watch it with that lamb stand? What? I'll freaking kill you! Look out. Eat your hatchet. Dang, guess our taking him out won't be easy. Well, this hurt, but give me a sec with him and... Wait a sec. I got a way better idea with dealing with him. Come on. What? D don't ignore me! I'll kill you! Would you do Courtney? Oh, so we can't get him with the hatchet because he's in the bear trap. Do you hear me? I'll kill you. They'll all know what you did. What you did to... Oh, God. I'm bleeding everywhere. Oh, dang. I Is he the bad guy? I mean... Ah. Uh, okay, so this place sells gas, right? Well, yeah, it's a gas station. And lighters? Gas and light... They're gonna burn him alive? What? Why don't you... Uh, can't even hold two items at once, Pearl. Why not? Store policy. <laughs> can't blame mechanic. I think we ignore the rules for now, okay? Sure, yeah, I'll get the gas can and get some matches. Why not? Got him. Perfect! Now it's time a matter of spreading this around and then... Alrighty, think we're set for Soren. Just need to be careful we don't blow up along with it. <laughs> well, don't light it here, obviously. Then once we go outside. You're right, for sure. Let's let's go get... Are they just gonna blow up the whole gas station? Let's count down, okay? Three... Two... Just throw it! Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. Wait. Did you... What the frick?! Uh, I guess that is one way to go out. What? Oh, wow. Brandon's probably super dead, isn't he? That is terrible. Yeah, probably. That upgrades you from serial killer assistant to real killer. So I guess congrats are in order. <laughs> not serial killer, though. There was only one guy, so probably not. You got a point. <laughs> Crap! No, 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 no! What is it? My guitar! My baby! I put it in the back case after putting all the traps in there. I could just throw up. This sucks. There, there, Missy. If it's any comfort, I'm probably never getting my hands on my hatchet. <laughs> OMG, you're right. Guess I get to share a deeply traumatizing loss with my favorite person. That almost makes it worth it. My favorite what the? Yippee! I'm still really bummed, actually. I figured. You know, all that stuff I said about not being able to hide a body, I didn't really account for completely destroying it as an option. It can just work out that way sometimes, I guess. Mm. Hey, Grizz. We're gonna need to figure out a better name for you to call me than that. What you gonna do now? Freshly unemployed, I guess. No longer hiding, right? Something like that. Well, I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. Worse in the world or not, it's inconvenient. Didn't you kind of want that, though? Huh? I forget. I mean, going to the city is like hiding a tree in a forest, sure. You're still going to be perceived a lot more by people. If you Wait, there's wrong here. Wait, there's wrong here. But you're still going to be perceived a lot more by people than if you're t toughing it out in the middle of nowhere. Maybe, maybe too much attention is an ideal, especially for someone like you. But being perceived by the, those closest to you, that's good, right? At least, I want to believe it's good. Jeez, never thought of it like that. Hey, Grizz. Yeah? Do you want to join my band for real? I mean, I could. <laughs> That's a cute game. And ending. And no, it's not. They murdered two people. I was expecting to just learn what the dump happened with the cheerleader. But I guess, y'all, this just slapped. I, uh, I, I don't usually cover these sort of games, but this one was just so exceptionally high quality. I just, I just had to play it. Art, concept, the dynamic. Like, are they? Are they gonna go steady? I don't... 
I don't know. But I do know one thing. Got oh, there's more. Hello, Duncan. We are Death of Venus. Oh yeah. Oh, she actually became the drummer, saying it excitedly under her breath. Very, very pumped to be performing here today. We'll be giving you the show of a lifetime. Now, drum roll for our newest member of the drums, the bear. I think that's a good ending, and I hope you enjoyed. But what did the cheerleader do? What? A, like, I was hope maybe there's some stuff I missed. You know what? If I did, let me know in the comments. Yet again, the game is free. You can just download it. First link in the description. And yeah, hope you like this. I like to do different things sometimes. <laughs> Today was just one of those days. We'll see you next time. More videos coming soon. Bye.